hi welcome and welcome back for another tutorial my name is laura and today i'm going to show you how to make a book bag using um dashiki and uh, the color i'm using today is the lime green so if you want to see the technique that i'm using please stay tuned and i will show you all my secrets so for today's tutorial you will need a chalk a roller a, a thread scissors um, sometimes I use a blade as well, some pin, a tape measure, but I had to use it and uh, the African fabric plus the lining. Alright, so I'm starting by uh, cutting the edges of the fabric and uh, I'm keeping it aside so I can use it for the handle. So this fabric, I cut it horizontally and uh, I'm only going to use um, um, it's, it's come with two yards, so I'm cutting half of a two yards horizontally, so it's like one yard, but it's not really one yard. So what I'm more interested in is uh, the design of the fabric. Um, so yeah, the, the design is pretty uh, quirky, it's not straightforward. I'm using pins to make sure that everything stay straight while I, uh, I'm cutting the fabric. Once it's done, I am I'm placing the book as a, as a template. But I uh, should I use a template? I just like went, yeah. I just <laughs> it's, a, it's a DIY really, and uh, yeah, I know my head is very small. <laughs> well, so I'm using a ruler and I'm using a liquid chalk, and the color of it is red. But don't worry, gonna come off. Um, with some washing up and uh, get all around it so yeah as you can see just <laughs> I do as I go even the mark I've done I didn't even follow but don't don't, don't do that So now I am um, placing the lining on top of the fabric and I'm marking and I'm transferring the mark and cut everything out. I could have just placed the, the lining under the under the fabric but I just make my life more complicated for no reason. And I'm cutting the, the corner of the fabric just like so. And I'm doing that for the main fabric and for the lining. Alright, so once this is done, I, uh, I'm getting the, the handle. Um, the handle, uh, each side they have different pattern. That's because I didn't have enough fabric and uh, yeah, just do what I have. It's, it's barely noticeable and even look cute. Okay, so this is the other strap. So and now, and now I'm gonna sew both sides, and this is how I look on the of camera. And uh, I'm gonna turn it inside out using the using the scissors, just like so. That's it, magic. Just pull the other way around, and uh, using the iron iron to iron everything nice and flat. All right, so this is the pocket. Um, I get it and uh, so run to get to the corner turn the fabric inside out and I'm using again the scissors to pop 
to push out the corner of the fabric and just like that and uh, I'll leave a half, half inch seam allowance and flat iron it and uh, sewing a straight line down on the side so I've done it off camera and this is my lining I'm turning inside out just placing to see where I'm gonna put it into and how I'm gonna place it into the lining for the height all right this is my handle and uh, placing three inch from the side and I'm gonna put some pin the fabric inside out all right so as you can see the handle is two different one but it's hardly noticeable and put the handle and then the handle I'm putting between uh, the lining and the main fabric is going in between here. Yeah? Alright, so this is the close up. So between the fabric. Just like that. And uh, some pin I already saw the other half I don't know if you can see it was a bit tricky to to do this right, so this is how I look so I place the pin and, uh, and I'm gonna close it and now I'm gonna leave um, three inches opening but it was it was big three inches so two will do the job So this is a small opening and I just put my uh, my hands and turn the fabric inside out one more time. And it's a very, very quick project, this should be done with less than, uh, than an hour. There we go, and put the lining back in. So this is my small opening and uh, I'm going to iron it flat, uh, three inches, well half an inch mark and uh, so all the way around it and this is how you look. Thank you for watching the video till the end and if you are still here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think about this uh, bag, if you want to see some more different type of bag 
uh, or backpack whatever it may be let me know in the comment below and i'll be more than happy to show you how to do it or even different um design with uh with the shiki and uh and all the the juicy stuff so next week i'm gonna show you how to make a trouser using this beautiful fabric red and blue and uh well and i'm gonna be nice with you i'm not gonna use a zip i'm gonna use elastic band instead so yeah please be sure to share the video with somebody that is into crafts and uh, i will see you next week same place same time same channel bye for now